Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am bored at home today, so I thought I would film a um, how I do my makeup video. So, <clears throat> if you know me, I do not wear a lot of makeup. I am pretty natural girl. Um, so, I'm just going to show you guys what I usually do for um, a quick makeup look. And this is what I would wear um, if I were just like going out or to church or whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoy um, just this time hanging out with me as I do my makeup and just chat. So the first thing, um, I re-moisturize my face. I usually put some chapstick on. Um, I use Burt's Bees chapstick. And I've been using this for a long time. Um, funny story about that. Well, let me, t let me do my... Let me put some concealer on first. So that's kind of what I start with. Um, sorry, I'm looking in the camera. I mean, I'm looking at the screen, okay? And a little on my chin, a little on my forehead, and on the bridge of my nose, okay? So the funny story about Burt's Bees is like during the holiday season in, um, this is just a wet beauty blender and I just go and blend it all up. So during the holiday season, they always have like the gift sets of um, Burt's Bees at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They have them at like um, regular stores too, like Target and Walmart and stuff like that. But um, it's more expensive. So you can get a pack of four of them for, I don't know, like six seven dollars which in my opinion is a good deal because one of those is usually like three dollars so last this past christmas i think i bought like four let me see i think i bought like four four or f um five packs of those i think five which is kind of crazy not all at once i just kind of collected them as i went to stores and saw that they had them, I would buy them just to have because that's the chapstick that my husband and I use. So I think in a drawer somewhere I have like 16 of those Burt's Bees chapsticks left. And there's no shame because we do use those a lot so we go through them. Okay, so I just blend it all out like this and whatever is left I take it into this area um, on the sides of my mouth my eyelids blend it all out just like that I do have a pimple here so I'm going to try to cover that up so let me put it here on my pimple try to cover that up I feel like sometimes it makes it worse, but it's okay if it doesn't cover it. Okay. I don't really mind my blemishes and my actual skin coming through. I prefer that than just being super polished. Okay, now that that's done, I'll go in with a powder. This one's from BH Cosmetics, and I need to stop moving around. It's just um it's like a foundation powder but i'm just using it to set in the summertime when i don't wear um or like sometimes if i don't want to wear concealer i'll just use just this and this gives like a super light wash of coverage which i really love um just something light because i want to be able to I want to be able to, um, I don't want, like looking like I have cakey foundation and stuff on. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to let that set and then do my eyebrows. So during this quarantine, you guys, I have been super bored and trying to stay motivated to do things. Let me... Let me use this little mirror here. Trying to stay motivated and not 
not be lazy and stuff. There we go. People say that this is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, which I've used a few times before, and I actually really do like it, but it runs out so quick. So it's like if I'm going to pay 20 something dollars for something for a brow pencil, like it should last, you know. So I'm glad I found this one because it's definitely a cheaper alternative. Okay, I think that looks good, you guys. Good enough for me. So once I'm done with brows, I will go in with the rest of my face products. And for bronzer, I use the Hula Bronzer. This is a mini and this actually lasts me a long time. I think I've only had to repurchase it once. So here, and then I just take an angled brush like this one and tap off excess and I just kind of go to town and chisel out my face like that. And I like this because it's very natural. Look, I mean, everybody loves the hula, hula bronzer, right? I kind of do like circular motions. And then um, I'll take some and kind of go in the temple or the corner of my forehead and then whatever is left I'll take it down to the jawbone and let me do the other side you just kind of want to go where the natural shadows are I don't even know why I'm teaching right now because I'm not a makeup expert by any means in my eyes just to give it a little color and yep just like that and you can kind of tell I'm a little more chiseled I have more color in my face and then I'm gonna go in with a blush this is the Stila convertible color in Camellia and oops this is the cream blush so I like that it's cream I actually use a brush for it still my brush my blush brush and i just put a little bit here and dab it on the back of my hand so that it's not too much and then i just kind of go along the apples on my cheeks i smile a little bit like this like that it's kind of like a peachy color coral color just like that and then I do a little on my nose just to add some color okay and now we're actually almost done I'm gonna do my mascara and my favorite eyelash curler is this Shiseido one, and my favorite mascara of all time is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Um, this is L'Oreal, yeah, L'Oreal. And this is um, waterproof. I always wear waterproof mascara only, just because I find that it helps to hold my lashes up er um, better. So with my with curling my lashes, I kind of have a little trick. So I start at the tip of my lashes and then I kind of slowly work my way in towards the lash line. That way it kind of has a curl like that and it's not just like that, but it has a curl, a 
curl like this, not just up like that. I don't know if that makes sense. So then I'll go with my mascara and put it on. And I kind of like go from the root and wiggle it out. And I always get some on my my um eyelid. Leave it toward the front and wiggle it out. Do you guys like clumpy mascara or do you guys like really individually defined lashes? Because I know some people they actually prefer the clumpy look. I'm kind of in between. I don't like it clumpy, but I like to be able to see that I did put mascara on. So now that that's done, I already have chapstick on. So I just do a little bit of gloss. I want to get some new glosses. This is a really cheap one by LA Colors, which I'm pretty sure is a dollar store dollar tree brand still does a job but i love a good gloss just do a clear gloss and then we're done that is the finished look this is like my everyday natural makeup take that headband off everyday natural makeup that um like i said if i'm going out going to church this is the look that i will do but other than that this is the finished look i hope that you guys enjoyed my little makeup tutorial not tutorial but just showing you guys how i do my makeup i am not a professional by any means but this is what works for me and i'm pretty simplistic i've been doing my makeup like this for a long time just every now and then if i find a good product i will switch it up i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any other video suggestions or anything like that please leave down please leave it down in the comments below or if you just want to say hello um i would love to chat so thank you guys for watching today's video hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye-bye. Oops. <laughs> I am not turning this video off, right?